Yo, hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Top hat, how's it going? It might be a little laggy. I'm not sure, but if we are, it's ISP related. We'll try to stream, but we'll see what happens. If uh, everything goes to shit, then we'll we'll just flip the switch, turn it off, shut it down, all that. But um, yeah, top hat, what's up, dude? You said you had to update Twitch. Calling me a nerd, dude. All right, but yeah, what's in the agenda? We are trying to continue pushing our character. See how that goes. So haven't done much off stream. Um, we farmed a little bit, but haven't upgraded any of our gear or anything like that. I think we're still using basically the same masteries. Let's see, I switched to Slurm Fine because I was trying to finish out this one. I got one to go. Once that one's done, I'll switch back. Maybe we'll just switch back now so I don't forget. Still doing uh, mana regen here. I switched to life leech instead of this one because I always have um, temporal emblems whenever I cast time warp, so I didn't actually do anything. So I just have this where your life leech, life one hit, life one kill also applies as mana leech, but I haven't rolled away mana leech on the gear. So it is what it is, which I think it's an epic stat, so not really going to. Still have the Vodula clones with the blast from the past, still doing the increased LA damage. We unlocked the area increase effect here, or we could use the emblems. I've been switching between the two. Not sure which I like yet. <laughs> uh, the gnome, my channel points finally updated. Nice. And then we finally got the remnant clouds, but we haven't uh, really seen much of a difference with that. Still doing remnant vulnerability. Um, I've been switching between these two. The 60% increase area area size, um, which would be 60% increased damage on this one. Uh, but the issue is Rift Nova splits the damage. So if you hit, like, the more things you hit, the less damage you do. So it feels really bad in that regard. So I am uh, think I'm just going to go where it doesn't split the damage, but it does a consistent amount of damage. So without it... Without this, it does really good damage single target because it doesn't split it. I'll go to one enemy, but this one splits, so when it's split, if you're trying to kill like 30 enemies, they're all getting tickled instead of all dying. I switch to the max mana. I don't think there's really a big difference between these two, but we were dropping um, Ancestral Strike Chance before, so I switched to the mana one. It doesn't really matter. And I switched to the damage, which is another reason I switched to the mana one. Uh, there's no real synergy. It's just kind of like this one can cost a lot of mana This one gives me more cooldown time so I can cast it more and as we've seen before it's kind of like a A combo between using right click then left click right click then left click bigger always better Yeah, I think so. I think dropping the damage and just going for big is uh, the way to go um, Yeah, I mean unfortunately for the Rift Nova since it splits it I don't think the 60% area increase plus the it is like an extra yard which is very nice um, but this damage gets split up so if you hit 10 enemies then they're not taking that much and I can kind of show it off but that's kind of what I'm looking at remnants have a critical strike chance we get increased size for our breach and the breach pulls in enemies so not much has changed Ancestral Legacy, I mean, we just upgraded this stuff, so we have that one maxed out. We have the Aura here, and we maxed this out because you can use both of them. I just uh, didn't realize that before. So, didn't actually gain any stats, though. It's kind of the same stuff. I have some items that have upgraded. I need to reinforce them to sevens. So, yeah, or an eight in that case. Eight in that case. And uh, we got a couple levels on our Reaper. It hasn't evolved again yet. It evolves at 72. What a good invisible cat. Yeah, maybe he'll show up. Maybe he'll show up. They do what they want, you know? Alright, let's deposit all of this and um, upgrade gear. And then we'll be ready to uh, see how the build is performing. So sevens and sixes should be all I need. We could do a once over the gear just to make sure we don't need to reroll anything. What's up with you, Top Hat? How's it going? Seven. All 
All right, everything upgraded. Ooh. Let's see, any stats we can do without, so... Max life, LE damage, movement speed, that's all good. Life, movement speed, movement speed, and special strike damage. Special strike damage will probably push that down. So that's when I kind of want to reroll. Uh, critical strike damage, LE damage, max life, that's fine. I kind of would like to have the movement speed here as well. Critical strike chance, LE damage, critical strike chance, area increase size, sounds great. And special strike chance, critical strike chance, LE damage, critical strike damage. I want to see what else we can get besides the ancestral strike chance. Uh, attack speed, LE damage, LE damage, max life. LE damage, max life, area size, ancestral strike chance. Uh, another one we might roll off, just depending on what we can get. Max life, area size, critical strike chance. LE damage, LE damage, max life, max life. Let's see what else we can get on there. Max life, max life, size. See what else we can get. And crit, crit area. All right. I'm kind of hyped for WoW 9.1 for Sylvanas fight. Kinda. Dude, I haven't seen any WoW stuff in a hot minute. Sylvana was quite a uh, <laughs> terrible character. She's been all over the place. Hey, there you go. Cat's not so invisible anymore. What's up, buddy? Oh, Top Hat, is there a lot of um, stuttering with the stream? If it's too bad, we'll, uh, we'll shut it down, but I think it'll be hopefully okay for now. Oops. I uh, moved my mic and... Uh, there we go. Should be alright. We're trying out a new setup, and I'll probably continue to mess around with the setup, so I'll find something I like. But yeah, my mic's in like a different spot now, so it's a little awkward. She's getting redeemed. Oh no, it's smooth. Okay, cool. At least it's smooth. So let's see if we can get on here. So instead of max life. Uh, movement speed comes to mind, but I think I'm gonna wait. Attack speed could also be okay. For magic stats, no LA damage, unfortunately. Area increase effect would be damage, I guess. Movement speed also comes to mind, but nothing needed. And then we need the area size, so that was fine. What about you? Um, I think we have the best two there. Obviously need the flat, so I just want to look at this rare one. So we can get some damage reduction if we wanted. Elemental damage percentage. Hopefully we don't have to go for that. Okay, looks fine to me. Ancestral strike chance. This is one we weren't sure about. Let's see what else there is. Oh, we can get some flat LA damage. That's definitely better. I'm going to go with that then. Percent LA damage. 3% LA damages. That's not what we want. There it is though, that's the one. All right. 243, nice, perfect. Okay. Yo, Sino, what's up, dude? Welcome back. Shadowlands lore is they just judge a soul based on what they did in life when she died a hero. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it would be cooler than it sounds. Why did I put this here? Oh, I was thinking about doing critical strike damage to something else. Max life movement speed. That's all fine. Movement speed's fine, so this is what we'd want to change. The ancestral Strike. Damage. So, maybe Critical Strike damage. Maybe... Something else. Probably Critical Strike damage, though. Okay. 
What's going on in Discord, dude? Discord's popping off. Hey, we got the critical strike damage. Easy. Okay. Uh, last thing I was talking about I wanted to see was what else can I get as base stats on here. Critical strike chance. I could get attack speed. Attack speed is looking better. Let's see what my stats look like now. So we're looking at 74% crit chance. We can probably lower that because we mainly do our damage off of our remnant skills, which they have 40% chance within the breach. So we kind of are overkill by almost 15% here. And then 17 ancestral. So if we drop 12, we're going to basically have zero. We will have five, but it's pretty close to zero. So we could drop a crit roll somewhere as a magic stat. Let me look at the attributes. So I'm going for the critical strike damage for each enemy nearby. So it just scales up. So we get some free crit here. So yeah, we could drop 14.5 crit. I think everything else is fine. I'm not sold on things past here. It's only giving me 14 for these points. So it's 14 points for 14% Ellie damage and a little bit of flat Ellie as well. Like if you look at our actual average Ellie damage and we take away those, it doesn't actually reduce it that much. Even this one. I mean, it's not proc right now, right? But I could take out all of these and be pretty happy. How much did I actually lose? I lose like 1k. Doesn't really seem that worth it, does it? Popcat. Triple strike damage for five points. Like I could try to go like all in for this. Gets me the same amount of damage. Ignores armor. Don't really care about that, do we? Every cast a movement skill, the next has Reaper damage multiplier. Influence gain. I mean, we could get movement speed here. Could get all the way to this. Whenever you pick up an item, you get a greed stack. And greed stack gives me more crit. So it's just like free crit, I guess. We can easily drop more. Then I guess I'll take some melee damage. So we lost like a K damage, but I think that's going to be fine. Just max them all out. Oh, that's such a good idea, dude. Just max them all out. Forehead. 10 critical shark damage could be pretty significant. Hmm. Nah, we'll just go here. Alright. I think I'm happy with this right now for my character. I will look to get rid of a little bit of crit though. Because I am over by... 14.5% uh, with, um, with what? With the attributes, I'm still over. We also can get greed stacks, which will push us over even more. So we can probably drop multiple crit, uh, crit strike rolls. So where does that actually come into play? It comes into play as a base stat here. So we get attack speed there if we want. Let's see what about the magic stats. Magic stat could be more flat Ellie damage. That's actually probably the best. Maybe a critical strike damage. Um, yeah, I'll take either one of those actually. Flat Ellie damage though. There's flat. I want to get like 250 plus. Hey, perfect roll, easy. All right, so let's see how much damage you got from that. Has it not updated yet? Oh, because it's taking my crit into consideration. So our damage actually went up even though it looks the same because the crit is going down. Okay. Yes, we're still good. We can actually drop another crit roll. We can find one kind of on the low end. The magic stat there, 8.5. That's probably fine because you only need two read stacks and we'll be back to where we were. Or we get rid of the 8.5 on the amulet. Let's see what has better stats. So a rare stat, huh? We can get flat Ellie damage. That's probably the best. Area increased effect could be okay. We could get some movement speed, but I think I just want to go like all in on Ellie damage for crit. Let's see if this is any different. 
area increased effect, critical strike chance, critical strike damage, deadly damage, the same amount too. So, what do I want to roll away? I guess I'll just do this because it's magic stat, it's easier. I'm just going to go for the flat Ellie. Movement speed could be okay too. Then we'll try with movement speed. Alright, and then with my aura on, we're at 32. So let's actually play some. Alright, so this is in a Wrath 8. Let's see how it goes. Four levels of percentage. Since most of my damage is from remnants, uh, I think I'm doing the right thing here. But I mean, I'm, I'm up to 12 greed stacks now, so my crit is even higher. I'm at 69. Nice. So that's a uh, 36. So since I'm just getting it, but when I'm in town, I don't actually have that. And my remnants still have 100. Let's get to um, 72 on the weapon so we can see how much damage we get with the, uh, the third evolution. More! Yeah. Uh, oh god, what's that guy's name? Star Wars guy. Kylo Ren, there you go. More. More. I, mean, I definitely want more damage. The more the merrier. Well, oh, that's another thing I need to look at. Look at my chest roll. So I believe my legendary effect could be higher. So I get more of the free... Rift Novas. Vader wannabe, right? Reposer. Should we try some with the increased area as well? So instead of splitting the damage or making the damage even, we can go for splitting and get the increased area. So this is four yard range. Yeah, it like tickles because it's all split. Oh, that's so lame. But when there's one enemy, it chunks. So it's like really weird. Good against single target, but bad against a lot of enemies. So I kind of like this more, even though it drops the damage by 40%. Might actually gain more damage, yeah, because we just wipe those guys out. make single target a little less, but what can you do? Oh, I'm actually done here. Whoops. I just see baddies popping. Yeah, exactly. Pop, pop, bodies drop. I hope the evolution really um, makes sure I can jump to Wrath 10, because this is Wrath 8. And I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get a lot more damage in the build. And there's a, there's a couple places, of course, like the attributes here. 10% LED damage for each legendary equipment you're wearing. I currently have 5 pieces, so I have 50% increase, but I could get another 60%, so that's something. If you look at my actual... 
uh, where is it? LE damage? Is it here? Uh, it's here. Okay, so I have my base value 217 added flat, 3.6k added percent, 254 percent. But this one's gonna give me a multiplier once it uh, evolves. So hopefully that will uh, really get this damage going. Oh, Grobar! With the raid! Oh man. <laughs> Alright, everyone, everyone stay cool. Stay cool, guys. Grobador We're getting raided. My stream with three viewers. Yo, Grobador with the raid. Dude, I appreciate it. That's the first raid since we set up the little, uh, the little thing. Yeah. I'm gonna play it again. That was, that was too good. Alright, playing it again. Oh wait, now you did a host as well. That's a little loud, huh? Hello there, thinnest red. Dude, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Grobador is now hosting my stream with three viewers. Dude, thanks for the raid and the host. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. What you, uh, have you been playing Slurmancer? And are you working on any particular builds? If you were. I'm trying to do some Rift Nova memes. I guess it's memes. It's memes until it becomes good, I guess. Which is not awful. Pass it up again. There we go. Yeah, welcome everyone. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We're just chilling. We have three levels until our weapon evolves for the last time, and hopefully, we get a big spike of damage when that happens. Because we should get a multiplier. I forgot the exact number or how it scales, but it seemed good before when I looked at it. Hopefully it's still good when I look at it again. Let's see, I've been playing Mage with that Primordial. Ancestral Legacy, nice. Like this one here. A primordial Ancestral Legacy. See, I won't be using that one because I'm doing heli damage and I need my skills. So you're doing like some kind of, what kind of build is that? Playing with like the crystals or some other way to deal damage? isn't the primordial one the one where you can't do any damage with your primary and secondary skill? The crystal is not too much actually unless you stack it Ton of Ellie, maybe. Yeah, I'm going for the ton of Ellie side, but not for the crystals. I just want the extra, the little buffs on the weapon. And if that's terrible, then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Hmm, what would I probably do? I'd probably switch to Ferocious Affinity and try to stack some mana into raw damage slash Ellie damage.
Let's see, they triggered the thunder. Uh, but same, need a lot of LA damage. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to hit a wall where like I'm not going to be able to get much more early damage than I currently have, so I just hope the multiplier off the proc from the last evolution is uh, enough to carry me in Wrath 10. Because outside of that, I'm going to have to get a little more creative. Obviously, you know, I talked about I can have the six other legendaries and that will kind of help, but I don't know. Unless I'm like really pumping. Um, it's only going to be plus 60% LE damage, which I already have 250%, so it's really not that big of an overall increase. So I'm just, I'm not sold on it yet. Let's see. Uh, for the rest, since there's no skill damage, it comes from the orb explosions. Triggered by missiles. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. What the Kratic, what up, dude? Oh no. How's it going? It's going pretty well. We're trying out the old Rift Nova. Seeing if we can make something respectable out of it. Uh, it seems good. We have two levels before we get the last evolution on the current Reaper we're using. So uh, that's something to look forward to. Is the LA damage multiplicative LA from the legendary? No, it's some additive. So it just adds on to that 250% that I have. But the Primordial, or not the Primordial, the Reaper is going to be a multiplier. So, that should be very nice. Probably my last biggest upgrade I'm going to get on the character. The percentage damage is going to be okay, but if you look at the actual calculations, uh, as far as LE damage goes, I have my base value, I added my flat, so I'm around like 4k flat with those two added together. And then I have 255%, so my 4k flat gets times by 2.5, and that gives me my number here with uh, taking into my, my crit and everything into consideration. Everything else that it takes into consideration. But it's not perfectly accurate because I'm doing a lot of remnant damage, and... This is only for like my actual cast of the skill. Yeah, because my remnants have 100% crit chance, but I have like 60% because my damage doesn't really matter. It's all about the remnant. I this one somewhere. Is it here? Oh no. Uh, is it here? Yeah, it is here. Nice. So we'll see in a level and a half what happens. Uh, highest on farming is tier 4 at the moment. Feels bad. Uh, well, hopefully you can scale the damage up. What, uh, what are you playing, Kratic? I mean, a lot of it is just like time to get all the all the pieces to fall into place. And Reapers are like a huge deal. So depending on the level of your Reaper and all that, what kind of build you're going for. Might take more or less time. I got my mage at 40 the other day, but my Huntress uh, at 40 also. 
Can't quite get the stats to make a fishing gold for me yet. Um, should be able to do it with rare gear. Um, I just recently released like some zero to hero stuff on the Huntress because people were requesting it. Which is basically just the, my old VODs of when I leveled the character and how I progressed the character. Uh, might be helpful, but I mean, if you've looked over the other stuff, it's probably just a, you gotta farm a little bit. If I had to guess. But I mean, it's still efficient even when you're making like 30k a minute. And that should be pretty quick, honestly, getting 30k. It's when you start trying to get to like the 60 plus, like 100, uh, 120 I think is kind of like the top end. It's also the mage version, but I haven't actually done it myself yet, so I can't really report any news on that. I will try it at some point, just to see uh, how it actually is. It's just going to cost a bunch of materials to set up. And I just spent a bunch of materials to get this character going. Yeah, 20k a minute sounds nice. It is definitely nice. It took a long time to get there, so it's kind of like all relative. It's like, oh, I spent all this time and resources and money to make this character able to farm, you know, that much more money, that much faster. Or I could have just like farmed less and put that money into another character instead of putting it into the same character to continue farming. At some point you have to be like, alright, my farming character is good enough, I'm going to stop investing all my currency into it and uh, actually get some currency out of it. That's a cat. That is a cat. I don't want to scare him. Let's see. Oh, he is out. Didn't even move. Little buddy. Which is funny because like right before the stream, he just woke up from a nap and now he's back asleep. So, you know, cat life. I uh, tried a mage version, low cost, getting 350k in 15 minutes. Not very efficient, but that helped anyway. Hmm. Uh, what kind of mage version are you doing? Are you doing the zero damage Ellie Breach Golden Fleece combo? Or are you doing like Fleece plus orbs or something. Because from what I've seen, you should be able to do. Um, what is it? Like 300k a minute, maybe? If you can get the breach one set up. But I haven't actually done it, so I'm not recommending it yet. Well, you only get gold, you don't get anything else. Whereas like my Huntress gets gold and materials and uh, legendaries and epics and all that. You don't get anything else, you just get gold. So it's kind of weird. So it's better as far as like the gold per minute goes, but you still have to like go and gamble for like tons and tons of minutes if you're just going for like um, materials. So I don't know, I don't know if it's actually worth it. And I've kind of tailored my knight to be a, just a strictly material farmer. And I'm trying to find a mage build that I actually like. So we're trying out some Rift Nova. I still want to retry the uh, mana stacker. But ended up landing on this build instead for now. Oh, we got hit. Yeah, that was Breach plus Clones. Gotcha. I'm leveling the Huntress. It will be funner to have different characters for different purposes, yeah. Yeah, that's the, um, I think that's kind of the beauty, like having a different character set up for different things. Uh, I just don't know how many different things you can realistically do, you know? But yeah, I changed my 
Huntress and my knight to include fragment find and like magic item quantity and that kind of stuff. So they can just find that much more when they're running expeditions. So I'm not sure what I can do on the mage to like help with that. Or mage is just going to be like, I play random stuff. Or I'm like bored of playing the other characters or their skills and want to switch to this one. Definitely good to have options, that's uh, for sure true. Cool cat. Arcane Breach 11. Even though it does zero damage. A materials find bonus or something because the huntress has gold and mage has slurm. Uh, no, he doesn't. He just uh, mechanically has good stuff for farming materials, in my opinion. I can show him off in a second. Let me get this to 72 and I can do like a run on him and talk about it. But too long didn't read version is um, the grappling hooks the whole screen, kills it in like a hit or two, and then all materials fall at your feet, and you pick those up, you run to the next pack, and you rinse and repeat. So it has no increase, and I guess mage would have more utility if Slorm was shared between characters, but since it isn't, it's kind of awkward for poor little mage. It's just the mechanics of it. You could probably do it with other characters. Like, if the breach could pull in enemies fast enough to like kill them in the center of the screen, then it would be better. But so far, I haven't seen a way to stack up the loot like that outside of grappling hook. All right, it should evolve after this next one, I think. Boom. Oh, I didn't kill something? No, I'm stuck in here. What happened? This happened yesterday too. I'm in here by myself. Ooh. Right, I guess I have to leave. Lame? So lame. Rip my reward. Use the legendary casting Rift Nova? Uh, yes, I am. I'm using it in addition to casting it myself. I don't know how good it actually is, because... I mean, it's free damage, I guess. Damage on the table. That you can just take. You don't have a lot of other options for the chest slot for a mage. But basically, uh, I am using it. So let's see. Gives me a 41% chance every 3 seconds. So the problem is every 3 seconds and the 41% chance because it's really like... It doesn't reach 100% until it's like 8 seconds or something. So it's just kind of bad at this point. But I think I can rescore it a little bit. Yeah, 44 would be the highest, so I can rescore that. But I need to lock in the rest of it. This is the build from yesterday. Yes, it is. Yeah, the time doesn't go down, so it feels kind of weird. Unless it goes down, like, by a very small amount. 
but it rounds? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it does. All right, let's uh, lock in the Ellie damage here. I guess I'm gonna lock in the rare stat as well. Let's see again if there's anything else I would want. Could get percent Ellie damage. No, I'm just gonna lock that in. Lock that in. And let's reroll. See if we can get 44, 43. 44, nice, with a pretty decent life roll as well. I want to get higher life roll though. Uh, probably like 950 plus if I can. There we go. Easy, all right, so now we have a 44% chance every three seconds. So in a couple of reinforces, it'll probably be like 50% every three seconds, which will be okay. It'll be like every six seconds I get one, which is still not that appealing, but it's at least something. I hope the time does go down, but you need like reinforce 10 or something that'll go down a second. That would be cool. But from my experience, that's uh, not, not gonna be what's gonna happen here. From just how other ones have upgraded and changed. Alright, so it should be this rift, or this expedition, that we uh, get the level up, the evolve. see uh, what our in-game damage is going to look like, basically. Plus or minus 60% uh, LE damage. Seems really choppy, is that on my end? Uh, probably not. I was looking at it earlier, and I think it just might be my ISP. But, yeah, it's kind of bouncing between green and orange a good bit. So you might see some stuttering. If it gets too bad, I'm just going to call the stream, but I'm trying to just stream through it. Sometimes the ISP does that, I'm not sure why. Must be prime time. But we got one more thing we can upgrade. So let's get that. And now everything for our skill should be upgraded. So yeah, sorry about the, uh, the choppiness if it goes in and out. Can't do anything. Hey, there's my Reaper. Let's evolve. Primal Ancient Ancestral Ancestral Legacy Staff. That was a mouthful. When leveling up doing expeditions, is it better to leave and come back uh, every level, yeah? Rather than do the next floor. Um, I usually just chain floors because I don't really care about loot while I'm leveling. So I just go for speed. I pick out whichever layout you really want and then just keep running it over and over again. If you're picking up loot, go back uh, anytime your, your bags are full. So let's see, what did we gain here? Should be the last paragraph, right? Uh, whenever you deal ancestral strike damage, you gain elemental fervor, granting you plus 66% alien damage multiplier for the next 10 seconds. Elemental damage multiplier is equal to your critical strike chance. Oh, so I need to increase my critical strike chance again. Uh, I forgot about that. And I need to test and see if it goes over 100%. Well, that's gonna be awesome, okay. So we can get 100%. Is, is that the buff? Yeah, we're at almost 60 now. So we can probably walk into Wrath 10 just from the upgraded weapon. We do need to re-gear the character a little bit. Crit chance is back on the menu, boys. Yeah, basically just doubled my damage. Highest damage dealt, 968k. 
Not terrible. Let's see what we can do. So we just rolled crit away. Let's roll crit back. So let's see, where can we get crit? Uh, I'm gonna switch to the browser and we can figure that out. Also messing around with a new setup. So bear with me if I have to like take some time for things. All right, to the browser. All right, so as far as gear goes, we want to get critical strike chance on stuff. And let's see where it goes. It's the amulet, the belt, the bracers, the gloves. So we want to make sure we have crit on all of those things. All right, so belt. Yes, so we can get, we can drop the movement speed we just picked up. Um, we still have crit there. We still have crit uh, here, at least as a base stat. Yeah, so we need crit on these three. Okay, let's see what we can drop. So that LE damage is amazing. I'm gonna keep that and probably switch out this one. Feels kind of bad, but I mean, it's a multiplier. So let's get it. Let's get that um, critical strike chance back. There we go. At least we didn't have to, um, to pay for our sins too much. 8.5, please. Yes, thank you. Let's check the Reaper. The Reaper says it is now 37%. Uh, Actually, we did take off these, so let's see. 66%. So I guess it hasn't updated yet. Is it updated now? It still says 66. Uh, what, what happened here? Did I have additional crit from somewhere else? Yeah, so it should have gone down. Yeah, okay, it would have gone down to 58. I must have had some buffs or something. Either way. So now we have 66. Um, let's add some more crit in here. So bracers. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get rid of the critical strike damage for critical strike chance. So I wanna make sure I still have enough flat LE damage for things to be good. Also, my critical strike damage at the bottom is um, kind of bad. So I want to reroll that as well. But let's get some critical strike chance here. And eventually we'll see if critical strike damage is worth it or just LE damage is worth it. And we can adjust the rest. Damage. Give me the chance. Damage again. It's like the third time. Alright, there's chance. Let's see. Crit buff from picking up items, I think. Yeah, it must have been that. Or the greed stacks. Yeah, I've been trying to stack a lot of Ellie damage because I was not doing enough without it. I'm trying to make an Ellie build too, so kind of just all works out. So we're going to reroll some things here. See if we can get some. Better crit chance in the epic stats. Hopefully we don't lose too much LE damage in the epic stats. 9.5, 5, 2, 10, 2, 16, 5, 4.5. So I want 5 for the critical strike chance in the epic stats. But we got 8 on the rare, 4 in the epic. Okay, so we can lock in the rare. Let's lock that in and continue to rescore. 2.5, not good enough. Yo, zero cheered 100 bits, dude. Appreciate the bits, man. Appreciate it. 9.55, 8.5. Ooh, that's a perfect magic stat. All right, let's lock that in. That LA damage. Come on, come on. 3.5, 3.5, 8.5. Not good enough, not good enough. I'm trying to get max possible. 11, 4.5, 9, 4.5, but a perfect Ellie roll. Okay, I think I'm gonna settle for that one. 4.5, the Ellie roll. We'll change the normal score. Try to get that 12.5. So 
12. Got the 12.5 though. Please, don't do this to me. Do we settle for the 12? No, we don't settle for the 12. We go for that 12.5. I need it. There it is. Okay, we got it. Oof. Uh, lastly, I need to change out this movement speed. Feels a little bad. Uh, we need that critical strike chance. We're now up to that's 62%. Oh, that's because we just took this off. So it's 75% uh, LE damage multiplier right now. So let's get that higher. Critical strike chance, nice, not punished. Let's get that 8.5. Try to get the 8.5. Okay, there we go. So now it's giving me 84% LE damage multiplier because my crit is higher. My crit is at 83%. Yeah, that's how that works. I get the 10% here. We get the crit damage from there. We're gonna get some greed stacks from here as well. I might actually pick up these extra strider stacks as well. But I don't wanna get rid of these uh, area increased size, I don't think. Mm. Shamrock for luck rolling. It's not working. It worked out. We got some good scores. We got some good things. Uh, it worked out in the end. We had to pay a little extra, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, anything else that we should change? Because we hit 100. So... So we're at 83.5% crit strike chance. We are using an ability in the breach tree that gives my remnant plus 40 critical strike chance, which is not gonna be very effective. It's only gonna be like 13, but I'm probably gonna have greed stack, so it might even be 100. So can I change this to something else? Oh, I can get the attack speed. That'll be nice. Might be nice. Okay, we'll try that. Three attack speed. Okay. Remnant vulnerability. Critical strike damage reach arcanic emblem. Increase damage. Increase AoE size. Actually activates the remnants and um, increase damage. Let's see anything else? We did the critical strike chance or strike damage. We have missing mana. Life leech, mana leech. Increased damage of remnant skills. This one doesn't have anything for me, unfortunately. Percent LE damage versus support clones have max life where they can't be targeted. Yeah. Increased area versus the four emblems. Or oh, we could get some ancestral strike chance. And then we're using the cloud. Okay, so we'll check that out in a second. I did say I would show off the knight real quick. So we'll do like one run. On the night, just to show the material farmer guy. But basically what we're doing is stacking a bunch of movement speed. Um, having enough damage to still kind of kill everything. Other than that, we have uh, this rare gear that we put on for fragment find, fragment find, magic item quantity, magic item quantity, fragment find, and then lastly, magic item quantity, magic item quantity, fragment find. We also go into here. And we end up getting the Slormite find, which is this one here and this one here. We also get a ton of movement speed, 36%. And then lastly, in the Ancestral Legacy tree, we get the 5% Slormandite find, and then just some more movement speed. All right, so that's the character. Hey, we got prison, nice. At least there's prison. But the idea is just bring everything together, kill it, pick up materials together, kill, pick up material. Some stuff dies to the grappling hook. It's probably something I can try and fix, but... And I guess I could get some more damage to elites, but I kind of did the bare minimum to 
switch this from like my OP character to uh, material farmer. So there could be some optim optimizations to do, but I don't know how needed they're going to be. Sometimes I feel like farming on the knight, sometimes I feel like farming on the huntress. It's very good for uh, Slormites and Slormandrites. And we're just ignoring gold find on this character because we just need materials. Uh, from the past, I can do a prison expedition in about 90 seconds per floor. And you can just keep going however many floors you wanted to go. Or you can actually pick up more items, then go and salvage. I switch between the two. Usually if there's like a big elite that takes a while to kill, I'll just spam the loot button. And I'll pick up stuff as it's waiting to die. Or at the very end of the map, I'll try to grab stuff. Yeah, that's the material farmer that we worked on. Yeah, it was actually two minutes that time, so a little slow. That's fine. Oh, I need to put my materials back. It's clean. I like it. Oh, my movement speed has suffered. Either that or it's just because I moved from the knight to this character, so it feels really bad. Alright, let's put all this stuff back in the bank. And we'll start farming. So we got our new reaper. Sort of new reaper. I guess we could try to get movement speed on our ring. So we have movement speed there. We could drop something here. Maybe critical strike damage. Because we're kind of just going for flat Ellie, we just need to crit to get the Ellie multiplier. So we could drop crit damage, and this gives me Ancestral, Ancestral Strike anytime I crit without getting Ancestral Crit Strike. So I might try to do that, try to drop Critical Strike damage from this piece of gear, uh, which is one stat. You can drop it from this one, that's two stats. I can drop it from here, that's three stats I can work with. Four stats with this item. Um, is that it? That might be it. Four stats though. I mean, this can be movement speed. Um, that one already has double movement speed. Could just be maybe ancestral strike damage. Ancestral strike damage. I don't know what I can get on here. Attack speed. So I might do that in the future. But let's jump into ten. See how it goes. They need to add a deposit all button for deposit all slumps or something. That would be super nice. Wait, I didn't even move my character yet. <laughs> what? What was that about? Usually you're protected until you move. Alright, so let's see. Okay, we went up to 66k. And it looks like we can farm Wrath 10 now. It's nothing like the knight or the huntress, but maybe we can fix that at some point. pick up a bunch of stuff and see if my crit goes over 100 and what the reaper says. Alright, so I got my 15 greed stacks. Which means my crit is 98%. Dang it, that's uh, not higher. So I need more crit. So you want to keep your flat as high as possible and then get as much crit as possible to double everything. I 
I don't get why the breach explosion talent is so bad compared to the orb. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it actually blows up the uh, the breach. If it didn't blow up the breach, it'd be a lot more interesting. But it is what it is. Not really sure what's going on with that. What they really like intended people to do with it. Because I don't know how well it scales if you could really like drop a breach and then try to pop the whole screen. a portal somewhere? Oh, okay, in the very start. Alright, I'm curious what's going to level up with this. Let's see. It makes me think some builds will unlock in the future and are not really usable now. Yeah, I agree with that. I think as more Reapers come out, a lot more stuff is going to be viable. Heading off now, 2am here. Good luck with the farming. Dude, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks. Have a good sleep. I don't know if I had my elemental swap turned on. I probably did. to see what my reaper does when I level it up at this point. So I'm going to get a percent LE damage per level. Um, but that seems to be it. So we've kind of maxed out on damage as far as our reaper is concerned. I mean we're going to get 28% increased LE damage. We can get another 60% increased LE damage from gear. But after that, and I mean that'll get doubled, so we're getting like 100% extra LA damage added to my like 250 currently have, so we'll have 350. So it's like another 3k flat, basically. Or another 4k flat, that's gonna be multiplied, so if I get my crit to like 100, that will be um, basically another 8k. It's my current. So we don't have that turned on. So with that turned on, we're at 67. So it'd be like another 8k, so we'd be at like 75. Hmm. Wonder if that's gonna be enough. I mean this is wrapped in. We should also try out other things. Let's see. Let's try out some more stuff here. So the crit damage. Uh, might not even be worth it, but uh, we don't really have anything else. Time Warp makes a clone. Hmm. Or you swap with the clone. Free Leech. Permanent damage, seems very important. The 
clone doesn't do anything. 20 LA damage, it's kinda low. Uh, extra emblem can be okay, area effect is okay. The cloud seems kinda whatever. This tree is kind of not worth it, I'm not sure. What else could we get? Area increased size, okay, so it's kinda comparable. Movement speed when we go through the thing, that's pretty good. Time lock though, retaliation, or friendly projectiles. So we can't benefit from those. We got time lock. Ellie damage based off your missing mana. I kind of like that. Area damage reduction. Whenever an enemy time lock. No, we don't have a way to do time lock, do we? Create against time lock enemies. Whenever an enemy is killed with time lock. Projectiles are destroyed. Whenever an enemy deals damage to you, if you are below 20% life, you cast Remnant of Rift Nova. Is there any way we could ever, like, stay under 20% life and not die? <laughs> and just, like, get free Novas off of this? That would be super cool. So I think when you're leveling up to 40, you should reset every time you level up, because even if you move up a floor, the enemies stay the same levels before. Or at least so it says on the end screen, one floor against level. Oh, that's a good idea actually. I don't know how true that is, I haven't tested it, but like, it would make sense, you know? Time lock, rebound. Uh, split in two, five emblems. Hmm, this tree might be good. The only thing we don't get is the 60% remnant damage. But we get the five emblems. Which might be worth more. Get some movement speed. The time lock stuff is kind of sketch. Let's see, what's the last one? Uh, arcane clone stuff. Get mana back. Book Smash Chrono Puncture, damage over time, so none of that's good for me. Silence would be good. Arcane Clones with Inner Fire. Arcane Barrier. Arcane Barrier. Chance to Time Lock. Arcane Barrier. Arcane Clones. Arcane Bond. Our mana Stacker. Remnants have 20% Critical Strike Chance. Hmm, okay, that's the first thing that seems interesting. Barrier, clones, clones, retaliation, uh, reduction gives you damage, arcane bond, clones, bond, uh, damage goes to mana. Yeah, that is not, that's not what I'm uh, about. So it's one of these two. And let's see, is there any way we can go not remnants. So we could go 30% critical strike damage for each arcanic emblem you have. Okay, we can do that. Um, I wanna keep the damage even for sure. Damage equal to size, sounds good. 100% increased damage. You can cast out a target location. You gain free remnants. We just wouldn't have the remnant vulnerability. Hmm. And the Rift Nova does increase damage for each non-temporal emblem. Reach Arcanic. So we are using Arcanic and then we're doing Temporal, so that kind of all works. That's fine. That's fine. Attack speed's alright. So drop if we drop remnants, we would drop that. Arcane Breach has size and pulls enemies in. Okay, so it's really about this one or not. So we're dropping Remnants. Oh, it's this one here. So, I mean, this one's good, but whatever. This one's whatever, this one's whatever. We're dropping Remnants, we don't care about that. That one's whatever. This is very low damage. So we're only getting area increased size of effect and this one's whatever. So yeah, I think we're definitely switching to this if we're trying to drop the remnants. Get the area of effect already, increased size. We get some movement speed. Instead of time lock, we'll have to switch to something else. 
friendly projectiles. We don't have any of those, and we don't have any thorns, so I guess that doesn't matter. Time lock or carry damage reduction. Or LA damage based off your missing mana. Uh, LA damage based off missing mana sounds good. But we don't have enough slurm. Oh my god, we need more slurm. Time lock. Uh, if your last two emblems are different, the next skill you cast will apply arcane bond. So yeah, we don't have that. We could try to do some arcane bond stuff. Time lock. Retaliation. Any projectiles are destroyed. Uh, Rift Nova. Resist. Time lock. And we'd switch to resist, I guess. I probably want to take this one here. Five emblems. Alright, so we need some slurm. I think the five emblems will be the biggest, so I'm going to grab that when I can. So I need like 8k slurm or something. Oh, what, what is happening? Uh, what? Are we crashing? <laughs> Hello? Alright, the game crashed, I guess. Uh, what? Hmm. Well, that's a rip. Dang, I gotta go to task manager to kill it. Okay, game's down. Let's try this again. Well, that was not good. Let's see if we got rolled back or what happened. I think I've only ever crashed like twice. Alright, we got a bunch of Slurm back, so I guess we did roll back a little bit. So let's activate Devoted Scholar. We got the increased area size, the movement speed. Uh, the time lock thing is fine. More time lock stuff we don't care about. Alright, so this is one we'll get eventually, so I'm just going to put one point into it just to remember. Time lock. Other stuff. Passing through or destroyed. Uh, that one, just so I remember. Let's get the five emblems. This is going to be the big damage. And do I need to change anything else? Yes, I need to change everything else. So let's get that one. Okay, let's get... Um, I guess I could still do remnants. Just like, don't try to lean into them as hard. I, I mean, it's like a free extra remnant. That does 50% decreased damage. Hmm. Or we could cast it at a target location. Let's try the target location. And as far as the breach goes, all right, it is attack speed. All right, let's try that. This might work. I definitely don't feel like this is doing much for me, so I'd rather go with the Remnant. Free 50% damage increase, I guess.
All right, one more thing I want to try is switching back to the increase area. So I give me 206 increased damage in the area in 4.6 yard radius, but it's going to split the damage now. So maybe if we do enough damage, it'll just split it and it'll be fine. Curious how many enemies it takes to survive. All right, that's a ton of enemies. Oh, we got killed. Okay. Um, so yeah, it split the damage. We did like... I don't know how many enemies that is, but did like somewhere around half to all of them versus having less damage and doing to damage everyone. Uh, the increased area is so good though. I guess we could switch to this. Try this out. Try a ranged, but split. Oh, the split is so bad. Never mind. That is very yikes. Very, very yikes. Okay. We gotta go decrease damage. Oh, yeah, I'm slurming. What's up, dude? Seventh. What is going on? Trying to do some Rift Nova stuff. I think it might be in the meme category, but it looks all right. It is nice when it like pops the whole screen. It's super cool. Can't get worse, thumbs up. Definitely doesn't feel as easy to make work as something like a projectile skill. And I mean, we can get plus 60% increase LE damage. We can probably get more crit chance with like reinforce and maybe some other things. There's a way I can not cast Breach and just go like full on Rift Nova. Let's try that. So, if I'm not doing Breach, it's gonna make this not very good. So, we lose out like 150% damage there, which is kind of an issue. Um, lose out a bunch of critical strike damage. Alright, I don't think it can happen. That seems very hard to do to overcome those things. We need that damage. Yeah, I think it's the ISP acting up again. So you might see some stuttering. Apologies for that stuff. Uh, I think you had a nice area. Uh, maybe with one more stat. One item you get to four yards. I have the max stats on the items though. That's the only problem. I mean, as we upgrade it, it'll be fine, but area increase size here, area increase size here, area increase size here, and area increase size here. That's the only four pieces of gear you can get it on. Um, they are only like plus eight, so with enough pluses, maybe we get to that same size. I'm more worried about the uh, the flat damage, honestly. It seems real bad if you um, try to pop a whole room and everything doesn't die. But I mean, it's going well for Wrath 10. Shouldn't complain. Maybe more ancestral uh, strike chance would be good. 
more crit strike chance. Because that's going to be our highest damage increase. Find more ways to get more crit. How hard would it be to get this bravery here? We'd have to drop some area, increase damage. Or increase size. But, you know, let's try it out. No, we can't quite get there. Alright, let's try to drop this as well. Alright, let's see how that works. So, whenever you walk a yard, you gain a strider stack, grant you a critical strike chance. Whenever you deal critical strike damage, you lose the strider stacks. And we lost some area increase size to do that. And we lost some crit here. So, you need to put like one point back up here. But in theory, I mean, you can just get like a bunch of critical strike chances, right? And that's gonna bring you to insane levels on the Reaper. The only issue is like the crystals are probably gonna crit before I get to do the rest of my combo. <laughs> or we walk into something and get destroyed. Oh, I'm missing one point. Oh, that's the one point right there. Whoops. I got one too many points. So what's my yardage? I've gone down to 3.32 yards. Oh, wait. Oh, and I lost like 30% damage from dropping these two points. Hmm. I don't know if this is worth it, because it's just gonna... just gonna get like wiped away almost instantly. So I'm switching back. Let's get both of these for the extra 35. And let's go back and get this crit damage. And that leaves us three points to mess around with. I'm gonna go here for the extra flat Ellie. Check the area. It's 3.7. into that guy again. Dang it. That guy's OP. I don't know. The build seems interesting. So many of these guys. He's so tanky. increased All right, what am I using 
here. If I can get rid of that. Uh, I guess I'm just going to continue to do the Remnant Novas. I think it makes the most sense. Now, the only other thing is, do we do this one here for 150 crit strike damage, or we go for the remnants deal 100% increased damage? Hmm. Kind of like the remnants, but just, this just doesn't synergize well with it versus the other one. Uh, we can get some flat LE based off missing mana. Did a playlist die? Everything's dying. Oh, it says it's playing an advertisement. But I guess ad block is saving us from the advertisement. Alright, we'll see if it comes back. Either way. Uh, time lock. Just a little bit of wonkiness with all these trees. Let's put this in. Get some flat Ellie. Based off your missing mana. Hmm. What is my damage right now? This should be crazy. Oh, it's not as crazy as I thought. 83k. I'm trying to think about my stats, right? Like, we have basically 100% crit chance. So, adding more either critical strike damage or ancestral strike chance is going to be the play. But if we add ancestral strike damage, we need to add ancestral strike crit. Um, hmm. Which might be the play. We just switch everything into, like, don't try to get any critical strike damage. And we can drop, like, this point. We could drop uh, this thing here, wherever it was. Gives you the critical strike damage and just go for full, like, ancestral strike damage. Which seems nice. Um, there was one of these talents that gives me... Well, that's critical strike chance. That's the one we actually use. For the 150% increased damage. Uh, is it this one that you get ancestral strike chance? Or is it the other tree? Might be this one. Oh yeah, it is this one. So what do we get? That's where we get the area increased effect. That's not even size, that's just effect. But we get the ancestral strike chance here instead. But all three of these are pretty good. The four emblems. Ten crit. Um, I think we did the right play by going for the, the wall. We get the area increased size. No music never came back. Let's try again. All right. Um. Oh, it's twenty five percent. You're missing mana. We don't have a lot of mana. Gives projectiles an overdrive chance. Dang it. You just give me AoE. Okay. Um, oh, am I locked in again? Why does this happen?
think I'm gonna go for the ancestral strike chance. Is there ancestral strike chance in here? No, but there's ancestral strike damage. It was kind of far. We could get rid of the greed stacks. No, that's not worth it. That's so many points to try to do that. Reach stack gives me like free crit at least. Alright, whatever. Um get like chunked when stuff hits me. Golden fleece, look at that. That's kind of neat. Oh, and a legendary slurm line. Cool. Up for a second. That's, uh, that's enough. Oh, like three legendaries in here. There was a slow line, so I guess you might not count that, but still pretty decent. portal. Huh? Oh no, that means I missed it like... So, oh, never mind. It's right here. thought it was gonna be like way far away. That worked out. Belt. Oh, I don't actually need either of these. So, rip. I wonder if I can get more damage by going for a different node. 
so let's see. I'm at 25 here. Activate this. We're at 31, right? What if I go in here and drop both of these? We should be back to 25. We're 26.5. And I could go over here and go for Ellie. Now I guess get this, because it produces my max mana, which will give me more Ellie damage as well. 28. It's not enough. Yeah, 65 flat. So it's not equal 60%. Well, good to know. Bowman's leveled up. Nice. doing like three minute levels. I'm just getting there. It's definitely getting there. I'm trying to think how we can add more like movement speed to the build. If there's a way we even can. We have to sacrifice some stats. I should probably look at adding more ancestral stuff. I'm gonna go for ancestral. I'm torn between trying to stack up crit as much as possible, or stack up ancestral as much as possible. There's also those uh, pieces of gear. I think there's a shoulder slot at the further away you are from an enemy or like depending on its HP, you get like a critical strike multiplier. The Cod Vern staff could be fun too. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be a, a really good one. I think something broken is bound to happen with that one. You think it'd be good for this build, or are you just saying in general you think it's good?
Oh, those guys get me every time. Rip. Oh, let's look at that staff, that reaper. It's this one here, right? Uh, Kavir, the crackling thunderstaff. Lightning resist, LA damage. LA damage percentage. So it kind of gives me the same as what I'm currently getting. Lightning imbued skills deal 1% increased damage. The cooldown of your skills is reduced by 2% every time you walk one yard. Uh, in general, but for this build, two would mean more Novas. That is true. We could switch to a thing where we're like frequently casting Novas. Hmm. I don't know. It feels like we're missing just like a little something with this build. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Hmm. I mean, there's, so there's like a few things we could do, right? If we wanted to change things. We get some extra critical strike chance from this just by casting a ancestral skill. If we want to try to make this multiplier like, you know, way higher than 84. Obviously we can get 100 with critical gear, maybe more. We can get 15 greed stacks. We could maybe use that and get some extra critical strike chance there. I'm not sure how it scales, but it could be something to look at. Um rings. I mean, I guess you could just pick rings like the Ring of Life and Ring of Mana that actually give you an ancestral skill, so you'd always have an ancestral skill to use every 10 seconds. It seems kind of wonky, but like could be something. Um, what else? What else? Plus one rank, so that would make my uh, elemental swamp a little better. We already have the chest, gloves. We already have gloves. We already have a helm, but let's see. Whenever you deal ancestral strike damage, you gain a recognition, reducing the cost of your skills to zero for the next two seconds. So there might be like a. Well, that's just kind of interesting in general. So you could stack ancestral crit strike chance. You could use the lightning darts from the tree you go down to zero mana but if you are critting constantly you uh, wouldn't have to worry about that i guess you'd have to use something like arcane missiles to where even if you had zero mana you could still cast it just keep it at like rank one and then you just stack your mana super high i don't know might not be worth it at all Because I'm guessing, I'm thinking like in combination with this thing here, where you get LA damage based off your missing mana, it's only 25% of your missing mana. But if you're missing 89% of your mana, you get 25% of that as LA damage. I don't know, could be something. Anyway, uh, other helms maybe. Shoulders. I think shoulders could have a good potential. Reaper damage multiplier, nah. But you deal, let's see. You deal damage to an enemy. Whenever you deal damage to an enemy, you have a plus eight critical strike chance multiplier for each yard between you and them. So you'd probably have to use the Nova where you can cast it from far away. You do aiming assist pads. So you get a critical strike damage multiplier. I don't know how that scales, but seems better than the other options. You have critical strike chance multiplier on enemies above 90% life or more. I think those would be the bracers as well. So a combination of those shoulders and bracers. Um, maybe the one where you use an ancestral skill uh, amulet, and then the two rings like life and mana for extra skills to use. So you can use, uh, I don't know if toggling this one on and off works or not. So that could be something you do. Then you have um, the two there, maybe switch out boots for something else. Some other boots in your full legendaries, so you get the extra 60% that I currently am not getting.
Frost bolts? We don't have any frost bolts. We could use the. Oh, never mind. That's for the Pierce Huntress only. Septius Bleed. I don't know. We got some things we could potentially do. And then, like, other Reapers that could maybe be okay. So, leveling one, XP one, raw damage. You need something that would convert your. Uh, Reaper damage to LE damage instead of skill damage, but you could use the the amulet, right? But this is just raw damage, and I'm not gonna have much raw damage. Thorns. Keep raw damage based off of mana. I need to get this one primordial. I think that'd be fun to make a build around. Most powerful. I mean, most powerful could be good until it goes primordial, then it's going to be terrible. Thorns, projectile stuff, uh, vindictive slam. Have you hit an enemy with your primary or secondary skill, you have a 38% chance to trigger a vindictive slam, dealing LE damage to enemies within a 9 yard radius, chance is equal to a point. Zero zero three of your maximum life. Hmm. I could try the addictive slam. I don't know. Like the way I have my character set up, obviously this is the best one right now. It's just not gonna scale much more than it is now. I'm gonna get twenty five percent extra elemental damage increase here, and I'm gonna get sixty percent more if I switch out my pieces of gear. So I'm kind of worried, like, how much better the build can get. I mean, it does fine in Wrath uh, 10. It's just kind of like, I'm seeing the cap already. It does well, but it's going to kind of fall short of where I would like it to be. So I need to figure out if I lean into critical strike damage or if I lean into ancestral strike chance. I think the critical strike damage will be easier because I can get the uh, 150 here instead of the 100% increased damage from the remnant skill. So we go extra 150. And then I can probably get it on like multiple pieces of gear. So check out the browser real quick. Slow builder. Critical strike damage. Yeah, we can get it on four different pieces. We can get it on all those pieces. Um, actually, that's not true. You can also get it on boots. I don't know why it is acting like you can't get it on boots. You definitely can get critical strike damage on boots. And rings, I believe. Hmm. Anyway, we gotta figure that out. So I'm probably gonna take a quick break. Um, most time to feed the cats and whatnot, and uh, I need to stretch my legs, walk around, get something to drink, all that. I see that the internet is still kind of acting up, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that. I want to continue to try to stream through it, or just uh, call it a night and send you guys over to someone. But um, we might figure out the crit strike damage or something, maybe mess around with a few other things, and then um, figure out what to do from there. But anyway. I'm going to take a break for a little bit, and I'll be back. Yo, oh, alright, and I'm back. So it looks like we're still, um, you know, stream's still being a little laggy, but we'll look over the character one last time, maybe play a little bit, and um, probably call it a night, just because uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the internet, besides ISP just being a bunch of buttheads, so yeah, not really sure what else I can do. Anyway, uh, I saw we had something to reinforce, so let's go do that. So we have a plus seven here. And then, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna shift into critical strike damage, and we'll see if that fixes some of our woes, and uh, kind of go from there. 
I also have another seven here. So alright, let's roll as much critical strike damage and then we'll try that out. See how that feels. So um, what do we determine? We determined it can be rolled on bracers, gloves, boots, uh, belt, amulet. Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna go through all of it to make sure. Rare stat, okay. Um, we could get damage to elites because those are kind of the biggest issues for us. But I think that's fine as is. All right, we have ancestral strike chance and critical strike chance. We want critical strike damage where we can. We'd have to drop elemental damage for it, so that doesn't feel worth it in that case. So bracers get off with the pass. Critical strike damage we already have. Heli damage, critical strike chance, hair increase size, that's fine. Critical strike damage, heli damage, that's fine there. So we'd have to drop movement speed for this one. And then boots already have it. Mm. Everything kind of already has it. We could get more. Oh no, you can't even get Ellie damage on here. Yikes. Um, are we like capping out on critical strike damage? Yeah, it looks like we already have basically all we can get while still keeping the area increased size and all of that. Hmm. This might be like as good as we can really get with the build. Unless I'm just like completely missing something. I mean, obviously adding in more legendaries will increase the damage. What's up, Link? Our ISP is um, seemingly slowing us down tonight, so we're probably not going to be on too much longer. Just want to kind of warn everyone. Not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, we got this build up and running. I think it's approaching being capped out though. I think the only big upgrades would be the two, sh the shoulders that give me critical strike multiplier and the bracers that give me critical strike multiplier based on their life. Um, Cause that'd give us like an extra 50 crit so we'd be able to get even more elemental damage multiplier, but just for a little bit. Uh, once we dealt damage, it would all kind of go away. So, I don't know. Let's do like another rift and uh, just see how it feels. I don't know if there's anything else I can really change. I think it's a cool build. Um, if it's like a build you guys would be interested in, I, I mean, I definitely think you can try it, especially if you're willing to take it to the next level, but I think this might be about it for me with the build. Um, oh, walked into that again. I just don't uh, foresee what all, what all else I can do with it, besides like adding epic stats and, you know, gearing at all the... Um, Legendaries and whatnot. It still seems fine. I mean, it farms Wrath 10 easy enough. But uh, I want to try some other stuff with the mage as well. So I'll probably make a build guide for this at some point, just in case, you know, people want some ideas for builds. I don't know if this is the strongest build for, you know, this point in time, or even if it can be the strongest build for this point in time. But, um,. Maybe it's something to keep an eye on in the future as more stuff comes out. Or if you just really like the playstyle. I like the idea of it just popping the whole screen. I just feel a little uh, strapped for stats. Even though we still have 13k HP and we're using um, Mind Over Matter cape and all that stuff. Seems good. Anyway. Yo, Link, what's up, dude? Um... Dare I ask if you had an opportunity to 
to, uh, you know, you know. Also, we just got a cat. Speaking of cats. I think if they introduce the legendary that makes it not split its damage baseline, that would be really huge for the build. Or like another legendary so sort of similar to the Orb of the Arcane Master where it makes it to where the damage reduction isn't actually applied. You know, more remnant synergy. There's a lot of stuff they can add to the game that would uh, really kind of push it to the next level. But anyway, I think as it stands, this is about as good as it's going to get. At least this is as far as I'm going to take it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the build, all of that. We might still play it a little bit on stream. Uh, definitely plan on making a build guide for it soon, like I was saying. But I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. We're uh, still jumping around as far as my internet's concerned. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a shorter stream for today, but it is what it is. I can't really fight the internet company. So, I'm going to switch over, look for someone to host. And, uh, yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you can find someone else that isn't having issues with the ISP. The pixel just got comfortable. Yeah, I know, man. He got comfy. We had to go feed. We had to go feed him. And then, uh, yeah, he got comfy again. You know, I'll continue to play. It'll just be off stream because the internet is just being not fun. 